and keep my judgments and do them. Follow his laws, chapter commandments, and hallow my Sabbaths. Make them holy. And they shall be a sign between me and you. But you don't want to, you understand what he just said? This is a sign between the Most High and us, the children of Israel. That's why the Sabbath is so important. You can't just look at it like, oh, the Most High understand my heart. The heart is to see above all things that definitely wicked. You learn that from the heathen. You said, learn not to bear the heathen. Every Sabbath day, you better shut down or be in this word. You know what he said? And hollow my Sabbaths, and they shall be a sign between me and you. That's why you can't do the miracles that the Mashiach will say, say, but we're going to be able to do and even greater miracles than he done because this is a sign on the Sabbath between the Most High and the Mashiach and us. that ye may know that I am the most high, your power. I am a Mashiach Yahweh your power. He's our power. When you do what he say, he said, we're going to make our abode in you. Remember, we are the temple of the most high. And the, most, the spirit of the most high dwelleth in us. If you allow it to, if you follow what he say to Notwithstanding, the children rebel against me. They walked out in my stature, neither kept my judgments to do them. Which if a man do, he shall even live in them. They polluted my Sabbaths. Then I said, I will pour out my fury upon them to accomplish my anger against them in the wilderness. When we came out of Egypt in captivity, we just we just, we just, what we deal with now, we're in the Feast of Unleavened Bread. And we got to, I got to bring in Easter because it's part of what our people are doing and not following what's right. This is what he, this is what he did to us. Because we polluted his Sabbath. People out there doing all kinds of crazy things right now. We did this in the wilderness. When we came out of, out of, I mean, he did all those many miracles against the Egyptians. Before they let us go, we seen them. Nothing happened to us as the children of Israel. He let us go into the wilderness, led by a Mashiach that was shot in a cloud by day, in a fiery chariot by night, for 40 years. And he's telling you what our spirit was. They polluted my Sabbath. Then I said, I will pour out my fury upon them and to accomplish my anger against them in the wilderness. Nevertheless, I will drew my hand. He withdrew my shot, I was shot from And wrought for my name's sake, that it should not be polluted in the sight of the heathen. See, that's what you gotta understand. He brought that wrath before his name's sake for Yah, Shah, Allah. Namesake, for the most high namesake, because his name is in us. That's what he's saying. That his name would be polluted in the sight of the heathen, in whose sight I brought them forth. Because everybody knew the children of Israel. Now you got these people talking about we didn't even exist in Egyptian captivity. Better like somebody. See, I lifted up my hand upon them, unto them, also in the wilderness, that I was scattered them among the heathen and disperse them through the countries because they had not executed my judgments but had despised my statutes and had polluted my Sabbaths and their eyes were after their father's idols just like Easter, no difference. Following idolatry, paganism. That's why the fear of the Most High came upon us. And you will tell me that it's okay? Wherefore I gave them also statutes that were not good. <laughs> and judgments whereby they could not live. He gave a statute where that was not good and judgment whereas he would kill us. He would make sure we would die. 
Look, it was 600,000 of us came, men that came out of Egypt in captivity. He killed 599,998 out of 600,000. 599,998? Oh, yeah. And I polluted them in their own gifts in that they caused to pass through the fire all that opened the womb that, that might, that I might make them desolate to the end that they might know that I am the most high. That's what he's telling them. And we read, and we read, made their sons and daughters pass through the fire. Here it is, the most high dealt with us. Verse 27, therefore, son of man, speak unto the house of Israel, and say unto them, Thus said the most high power, yet in this your fathers have blasphemed me, in that they have committed a trespass against me. And that's what you're doing when you follow on these pagan holidays. For when I had brought them into the land, for the which I lifted up my hand, on my Elbashah, to give it to them, then they saw every every high hill, every high hill, every religion, every holiday, and all the thick trees, and they offered there their sacrifices, and there they presented the provocation of their offering. There also they made their sweet savor and poured out their out their drink, their, excuse me, poured out their their drink offerings. Then I said unto them, What is the high place where, where unto ye go? And the name thereof is called Benah unto this day. Wherefore say unto the house of Israel, Thus said the most high power, Are ye polluted after the manner of your fathers? Oh, my daddy did this. My mama always did this. Are you polluted after the manner of your father? That's why the Spirit gave me brain polluted without even looking at all this. Spirit said, hey, our people's minds are not brainwashed. Stop saying that. Our people's minds are brain polluted. Praise the most high for his spirit. So look what it's saying. Wherefore well, said to the house of Israel, verse 30, thus said the most high power, are ye polluted after the manner of your fathers and commit ye mortal after their abominations? This is what you're doing. When you're dealing with idolatry, you're dealing with the pagans that I went to all night and showing you and telling you, all of you, that's doing it. The wrath of the most high will come upon you. Because you, your mind is polluted, your brain is polluted with the tradition, traditions of men and the abomination of our forefathers. I mean, come on. If they made you celebrate Easter, that's blasphemy against the Most High. Christmas, that's blasphemy against the Most High because it's dealing with men by the center rabbits, with your mothers. Nothing to do with the Most High. But when you offer your gifts, when you make your sons to pass through the fire, you pollute yourselves with all your idols, even to this day. And shall I be inquired of by you? O oh, house of Israel, as I live, said the Most High Power, I will not be inquired of by you. And that which cometh into your mind shall not be at all. That you say, we will be as the heathen. Or oh, we're going to follow Christmas. Or oh, we're going to follow Easter. As the families of the country to serve wood and stone. All these different religions. Set up to send you straight to hell. Wood, cross, you got the cobblestone, you got Buddha dolls, the Buddha statue and all that. All these different religions that you set up, wood and stone. As I live, said the most, I should with a mighty hand, with a stretched out arm, and with fury poured out, will I rule over you. That's a hard bondage, y'all. And we ain't out of it yet, none of us. And I will bring you out from the people. He's going to bring us out from among these nations that he has scattered us among. And will gather you out of the countries wherein you are scattered. 
with a mighty hand. Mashiach Kabbalah, that's his mighty hand. His right hand. And with a stretched out arm. And with fury poured out. Because he coming back to judge and make war and burn his baby up. And you we just read it, we cast the devils and the beasts and the false prophets into the lake of fire. And I will bring you into the wilderness of the people. And there will I plead with you face to face. Like, I, like as I pleaded with your fathers in the wilderness of the land of Egypt. So will I plead with you, said the Most High. And I will cause you to pass under the power. And I will bring you into the bond of the covenant. Who the covenant with? Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the 12 tribes of Israel. This is who he's talking to. We got to go in the wilderness again, people. We got to go in the wilderness again. Ain't nobody gonna escape this judgment. You ain't made it till you come out of the wilderness and go into the promised lands. And I will purge out from among you the rebels. Let therefore let you know. If you're gonna purge out from among us the rebels, everybody going to ship ain't gonna be saved. Ain't gonna reach salvation. He's gonna purge out from among us the rebels and them that transgress against me. All you that's transgressed against the wolf side, he's gonna purge you out. I will bring them forth out of the country where they sojourn, and they shall not enter into the land of Israel, and you shall know that I am the most high. As for you, O house of Israel, better hear the word of the most high. Thus said the most high, power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Go ye, serve ye everyone as idols. Go to serve. Easter. Go to serve Simaramus, the moon goddess. Go to serve Nimrod, the sun god. Go to serve Tammuz. And hereafter also, if ye will not hearken unto me, you will listen to him, but pollute ye my holy name no more with your gifts and with your idols. For in my holy mountain, in the mountain of the height of Israel, said the most high power, there shall all the house of Israel, all of them in the land, serve me. Then will I accept them, and then will I require your offerings and the first fruits of your oblations with all your holy things. Only the one third. That's why you gotta have more than one third that's born in the wilderness. You're gonna pray, you're gonna make them examples. You're gonna purge your mouth. All the rebels. That's why we got to come back to him. All this is anti Christ. All this is anti Mashiach. These pagan days. It's against the Most High. Anti the Most High. First and foremost. That's why the wrath of the Most High is coming on the children of disobedience. Because of these things. How many churches will be worshiping Easter come this first day? How many you think? Many, many, many across the world. You know, it's sad because you have people that they, they, they whipping themselves, beating themselves, carrying crosses, crawling many, many feet, maybe yards, I say yards, on their knees, going into the church. By the time they get to Mary, you know where the Bible tells you to worship Mary. By the time they get to her, the knees are bleeding and everything. Older people, too. Sad.
Look at John 13 and 1. St. John 13 and 1. St. John 13 and 1. Now before the feast of the Passover, when the Mashiach Yahushai knew that his hour was come, that he should depart out of this world unto the Father, having loved his own, which were in the world, he loved them unto the end. So he loved his own. I tell you in Hebrews 7, 14, for it is evident that our power of Mashiach Yahushai sprang out of Judah. He loved his own. See? So he died on uh, the fourth day. That's why he had the Passover with the apostles before, the day before, he had to be that sacrificial lamb as we sacrifice the lamb on the 14th day. That's in, even in Egypt. We put the sacrifice the lamb with the blood on the doorpost, on the top and on the two side posts. And he was the ultimate lamb. Of the Most High. Look at First Kings. We got to go to the richest king to live. He's still living for King Solomon's mind. Look at King Solomon. What he did. All this wisdom and knowledge and understanding the Most High gave him. And these are examples for us people. These are examples to let you know you got to really look at this and not fall short in the way he did. Because it's very easy. First Kings 11. But King Solomon loved, verse 1, but King Solomon loved many strange women together with the daughter of Pharaoh. Now wait a minute, before we, let me go back here. I'll finish this. Together with the daughter of Pharaoh, women of the Moabites, Ammonites, Edomites, Zidonians, and Hittites. He loved many strange women. These are strange women. The daughter of Pharaoh, Hamite, women of the Moabites, Chinese, Amorites, Edomites, so-called Caucasian, Zidonians, and Hittites, Moabites. Or the nation concerning which the Most High said unto the children of Israel, Ye shall not go in to them, neither shall they come in unto you. For surely they will turn away your heart or your mind after their gods, after their idols. Solomon claimed to these in love. He loved these women. And see what happened. That's why the Most High told us in Deuteronomy. Go to Deuteronomy 7 chapter. Third verse, I believe. Deuteronomy 7 and 3. Neither shall thou make marriages with them. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. Why? For they will turn away thy son from following me, that they may serve other idols, other gods. So will the anger of the Most High be kindled against you and destroy thee suddenly. But thus shall ye deal with them. This is how the Most High said we're supposed to deal with them. Ye shall destroy their altars and break down their images and cut down their groves and burn their graven images with fire. For thou art a holy people unto the Most High thy power. The Most High thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So when we do these things to law, so when we do these things, like I'm dealing, I'm dealing with this pagan day of Easter, tearing it down, destroying it, to the foundation thereof. Because we are holy people, and we have no business following those things. We are in the feast of unleavened bread. But we eat unleavened bread seven days a week. For a week. 